applied to the license board to transfer the wine, malt, and liquor license from Gelateria 272 Hanover to the opening express convert the operation of the opening express from self-service to table service with a similar name. And um, one of our council members, David Marks, uh, needs to recuse himself from this agenda item specifically due to accomplish the next test. But we'll make sure, sure to come grab you after that. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, good evening, uh, Bill Thoreau, on behalf of uh, Frank Well, he's sitting to my right. Uh, Frank has owned the Il Panino Express has uh, been question this evening for approximately 20 years, and the license that we're talking about originated at uh, Il Panino Express and was transferred a few years ago to Gelateria, uh, which is in the next one. Primarily, that was a result of uh, some litigation that Frank was involved in with the prior owner of the building at Il Panino Express. Uh, the building's been sold. Frank has signed a new 20 year lease with the new owners of the building. Uh, you may also be aware that uh, within the past year he applied for a new license for that premises, but was not granted a new license, so he's asking to transfer. The Gillette the real license, which as I say is the original license from Panino Express back to Panino Express now that he has a new land bought and there isn't this issue having to do with the uh, service of alcohol paying additional rent. Um, we have noted for you uh, the other change that's involved with Panino Express is Frank wants to uh, call, update the concept uh, with the advent of number of new sandwich shops, uh, pizza serving establishments, uh, business isn't what the Express used to be for many, many years. Uh, he is going to go to table service as opposed to self-serve. Uh, the menu will be expanded, but it will continue to contain uh, sandwiches, salads, pastas, uh, and items that have uh, traditionally been served in since day one. Uh, he will increase uh, all of those items, meaning he will have more sandwiches, more pastas, uh, more salads, and uh, specials uh, that he will be doing. The capacity doesn't change. Uh, the, uh, right, so floor plans, the floor plan will change very little. The reel that you may be familiar with where you line up. <coughs> We can line up now for uh, your order. <coughs> we'll be removed from that counter. Uh, we've removed some of the seats from the, the main floor and put some seats at that counter. We currently have the cash register and we'll be place your water and the soda machine and so forth uh, in existence. Uh, it'll be updated somewhat, but. Uh, Kitchen will stay as a kitchen, a pizza oven, and so on and so forth. Five uh, service. Uh, other than that, uh, the expectation would be is that uh, uh, once we go before uh, the licensing board, or soon around that time, we probably will close for a little bit and uh, renovate the inside somewhat. Uh, we will change any furniture. Uh, furniture may stay the same. He says it may change, but uh, he will still look like uh, Panino Express uh, in that sense, except uh, no longer will you be able to go up and just order at the counter and bring your food back and now have wait staff that can provide for it. Plus you'll have uh, a much uh, more extensive thing. First of all, open up any questions from the council? I Yeah, it's, it'll be lunch and dinner service. Uh, what's requested is 11 o'clock uh, on weeknights, uh, midnight on Friday and Saturday. This is the hour that you already had. Yes. Is that what the lights, the liquor license is? Those same hours? 
Uh, the liquor okay. license at the gelateria is 11 uh, each night. So would that have to be, would that have to change, or would you have to get the license altered to accommodate the minute? Correct. Right. It, it's moving. Uh, that's the explanation I try to give is it's not staying in the same location. Uh, last time we did the Marco, now uh, Aria transfer, that was a license that was staying in the same location, the same hours. He's moving the location back uh, and asking that we have these so called traditional hours of 11 uh, during the week and midnight. Especially now that uh, it will be table service as opposed to self service. Um, entertainment, any music, any uh, TVs? Uh, background music, I think I'm allowed one TV and background music. It will stay the same. Who would you change the name for? Oh, yeah. I, I really don't know yet because I've had. I've had that name for 20 years, so I don't know if it's honestly I haven't given it back yet. I'm not sure. The express portion may go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, the word express meaning. That was a concept that we take out. Because the, the one problem that we did have while we um, while we had you know, my idea before, people used to sell pork. I don't think we want to go that route if it goes back. Out of curiosity, would it, the, this was previously denied by the city. The new license. Mm -hmm. it, he asked, new for, license. He asked free for a license. free license. A free license. Do they give any like reasoning why they? They usually say they don't have one. They don't have one. Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they haven't even, other than saying that they didn't have it available, they haven't even given them. I, I've had that same license here for almost 16 years without a blemish. Uh, never been written up, and, uh, never blemished, and I just want to bring the license back. The only dispute that I had before was that the landlord wanted to raise the land almost double because I had a license, and I just couldn't look at it. And that's why I moved it over to the Chalapadilla, and now I'm looking just to move it back to the US now that I have a, a, a 20 year lease. Open up to the uh, audience, I suppose, for any other questions? I just want to comment. I was on the council when he uh, oh Don Fred, sorry. I was actually on the council when we approved the transfer to the July thirty fifth or something. Yeah. 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 So I remember when we transferred over the gates that explanation for the issue of the landlord. Just as an update. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> similar menu, will it be Just similar prices? Oh, excuse me? Just say your name. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, Victor Barania, Atlantic Avenue. Uh, similar menu, uh, we're told, will there be similar, similar menu, prices? Uh, some prices might go down and some prices might go up a dollar or two, but I, it's going to be it's going to be very affordable. I, I don't want to lose the, the 20 years of the world that we've got with the community and with tourists coming up. I, I just don't want to lose that. I'll make a motion to support the um, transfer from um, 272 Hanover Street to um, 264 Hanover Street with the uh, same closing hours uh, to 11 o'clock on weekends and midnight on weekends. Second. So motion on the table, second. All in favor? It's like uh, unanimous. So thank you. Uh, we have to count one, two, three, seven. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.